Hey guys, this is part three of my Tamiya Super Hornet restoration. In this video, we're gonna do the chassis installation. Um, I've just done some paint work and here's the new chassis right there, which we're gonna install it, all the parts from the old one into the new one. So it's a nice little chassis, it's one piece. This is pretty much the piece that was needed in doing this uh, project so yeah so I'll probably do uh, part by part we'll probably start off with the rear um, differential put that in first and then go from there so yeah okay so I remove the rear axle as you can see there which uh, now I'm going to install it in the new one so I'll cut that video and then add it onto this one so it's looking pretty good I'll probably have to grease the the mounts before I install it and here it is all installed it's looking pretty good and now we'll have to put on the front I'll work out which one I'll do next probably do the wheels first and go from there it's looking good hey guys so I just installed the electrics um, as you can see there the um, mechanical speed control is just for all show. I mean, I'll be installing an ESC at a later stage and I've just got to do the front end, the steering servo and the, the rest of the wheels. So I'll do that and... Okay, so the final stage of the build is complete, as you can see here. The old chassis is stripped out and everything's in the new chassis. It's looking pretty sweet. Let's have a look inside and as you can see you can tell how it looks new and you can see some old parts in there <laughs> but it looks very nice let's have a look underneath as you can see new part versus old part but of course i wanted to keep it as original as i could um, yeah so it works pretty good i did install these thicker screw with bolts on there on both sides just to give it a bit more support but yeah it works really really well and the rear shocks are good too so I didn't have to do much there well that's it thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one bye for now